Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets have rebounded strongly there on Friday. Late on in the session on uh, on Friday, most equities uh, had a big surge right there. US airstrikes taking hold. Um, lots of markets really affected by the kind of change in sentiment. Um, the separatists in Russia uh, feels like that conflict is maybe kind of coming to an end. The Russians have pulled out from across the border. The drills are over. Um, uh, the, the kind of battle with the, the Kurds and ISIS and everything else obviously still raging but with the US and possibly the UK and France now getting involved as well that conflict could be getting contained oil uh, being um, protected supply lines not hit that's causing a lot of weakness and crude oil as well with the US 30 approaching potential resistance at 65.98 that's the uh, strategic level to look at today um, most markets have, have edged higher but uh, the U.S. has been kind of flat since the start of this morning. So um, it'd be kind of interesting to see what the next move there is. Obviously, there's still pressure there, but certainly the news isn't as negative as it had been. So nothing is more pronounced than the UK 100. Really strong hammer formation. This should be, from a technical perspective, a very, very bull signal. Um, but we're already kind of uh, drifting a little bit lower um, this morning based on this candle. Um, the potential support remains at 65.81. Um, but obviously Europe, Russian sanctions and everything else is a little bit harder hit than the US market, which isn't so uh, isn't so tenuous. So looking at Japan 225, it's been like a yo-yo as well. Um, looking at Friday's session, as she was down 3% at one point on Friday, uh, that big reversal we saw in dollar yen, uh, really, and obviously just a general uh, equity rally that we saw there on Friday, pushed it right above uh, 49.77. Um, this is a very unusual pattern to see on here. And again, today we've been we had a complete reversal right back down to that broken uh, resistance, now acting as support and right back up again. So it looks to be at 14.977 is in fact a particularly important strategic level for Japan 225. And uh, you know, today's candle should be quite interesting. So moving on to dollar yen as ever, uh, you can see the kind of the the moves not so. Um, the prevalent on dollar yen as it has been on Japan 225, but similar similar um, chart pattern, strong hammer formation right there, quite close to 101 spot 35. We're at, we are in the middle of two ranges right now, so it's kind of twisting in the wind a little bit. Um, a lot of the effects that the US dollar has been um, kind of wrestling control a little bit. Dollar yen cable would be a prime example of that. Um, but we are in the middle of two ranges right now, so there's not a huge amount of economic data due out for the next couple of sessions. You can see that today is the 11th. Uh, and there's not really much uh, happening today. Uh, we go forward on to the, uh, onto the 12th, uh, which is a Tuesday. And even then we've got the ZW business report and uh, Eurozone, that's it. And then on Wednesday, you've got you know some UK data, some retail sales, and then the credit inventory. So it's not a huge amount of economic data due out that's gonna be um, kind of pushing these markets forward. So look at the wider geopolitical fundamentals and technicals as well. So looking at crude oil West Texas, Pressure remains 97.64 is a potential support. A break and close below that opens up 95 dollars, and then you've got gold. Um, a completely reverse course there on Friday as well, which is a shame because look, it was looking so um, so positive. Um, but you know we had this complete reversal right now. We're still above the 21 period SMA. Uh, next potential support remains at 12.95. That level is really important if gold is going to continue any upwards trajectory. We're a little bit away from there just now, so there's quite a lot of wiggle room, uh, which also coincides with the 55 period SMA. Longer term potential resistance remains at 13.32, but we're a bit away from there right now. Moving on to euro dollar, uh, euro dollar had a bit of a spike there on Friday. Uh, pressure again today. Um, potential resistance still remains one spot 34.55. We're a little bit away from there right now. Technicals are oversold uh, there are buying signals potential buying signals on here but we might have already nailed that on friday um still seems to be a lot of downwards pressure on your dollar considering all the fundamentals we talk, we talk a lot about during these sessions um the fundamentals are probably more uh, dollar positive than euro positive but the zw business report tomorrow will be a big driver we finish up with cable a uh, very negative session there on friday uh, a very limited bounce this morning looks to be one spot 67.44 uh, could be the potential uh, support and that level must be from quite a while away matter of fact let me go into my weekly interval to see that you can see it was the high from april 2011 that's why i've still got it in there just now so that will be a strategic level to watch out on gbp usd but we are in the middle of a range right now 
keep your eye on the chart forum. I can actually see there's a client here who's posting a lot of analysis on there, which is great. Uh, and make sure Insights is part of your layout. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.